Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft and I'm just back today with a tutorial for this hat easel card which also has um, a matching gift box. Now I just started off with a piece of A4 black card, I folded it in half and then I used a circle die to <clears throat> cut it out and it's created um, a double circle. I'm just folding the top part over um, just to create the easel card. Um, and what I've done is I've also cut out the same size circle with some more black card and I'm just going to glue that over the top um, to create the easel. So I'm just gluing that on the top there. Now I've also cut out some layering size circles um, with some designer paper and I'm basically just gluing them onto the card just to kind of build up um, three layers. I've used three pieces of card, sorry paper and that kind of creates the hat base and then I'm also gluing in a piece just on the inside so it all kind of um, matches up. <clears throat> and then what I've done is I've used some of the same paper and I've cut out a strip of paper which is 10 inches um, and I believe the width is 2 inches and on the short side I scored at half an inch each side and then I cut like little teeth um, all the way up both sides so that I, I can create like a cylinder which will be um, the top of the hat or, or the bonnet rather and then I've just also cut out a circle with the same paper and I believe that one was two and three quarters in diameter and then I'm just gluing it gluing it there together and then we will then glue that onto the card base which will then create a, a hat effect. So you don't need another circle to pop on the bottom because we can just glue that directly onto the card because you're not going to see the bottom piece anyway. And then I'm just taking some um, like ivory and gold ribbon and I'm just gluing that around the base of the hat using some Fabri-Tac glue. I've also tied just a little bow and hot glued that on and now I've got a selection of foam roses which are black, pink and like a, a cream colour and using the hot glue gun I'm just going to glue them around the hat and just create like a a nice little um, flower effect. 
I've also die cut a few little leaves um, from green card with just some dyes that I've got in my stash and I'm also hot gluing them on onto the hat. Now I'm just using some um, black versa fine ink and I'm stamping that sentiment onto some cream card and then I'm just rounding two of the corners and then using foam pads and I'm just gonna stick that onto the base of the easel which also will act as our stopper so we've got a sentiment with our stopper now I've got a piece of 12 by 12 black card this is going to be for the base of our box and it's a reinforced box so what I'm doing is I'm scoring all four sides at one and a half and three inches and that is going to be our reinforced box base I'm also, this is the first video I'm trying out with a voiceover. Um, I've recorded the video and sped quite a lot of it up. Um, I hope you can still understand it. It's just a trial to see if it works. Um, as I'm finding that people are not having the time really to watch longer videos. And my YouTube analytics as well is also stating the fact that people are not really watching for any longer than eight to ten minutes so i would like to keep most of my videos between 10 and 12 minutes you know going forward if i can so we'll see how it works out but i'm just cutting the um little tabs there so that we can glue them together and create our box I'm then just going to use some art glitter glue and pop it on the tabs and then glue the box together. I have done these boxes loads on my channel before if you're a subscriber. Um, so I'm hoping you, you know how to do them by now. And then the hat fits lovely into the box there. And then the lid of the box is eight and one eighth by eight and one eighth. And you need to score all four sides at one inch. And then again, I'm just popping glue on the tabs and gluing the box together. And then I've took a piece of the same designer paper and I'm cutting it down to around five and three quarters square. And then I'm just uh, gluing that onto the top of the box just so we have like a little border all around. And then I'm just gluing that down. I've also glued a piece in the inside of the box which was um, five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths so again i've just got the hot glue gun and a selection of foam roses um a couple of another little die cuts from green card and i'm just going to hot glue them all on just to just create a nice little um you know kind of flower display that matches the easel hat as well
So I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. Um, it is a very simple card to make, but I have to say I did come across it on Pinterest.